Hello everyone, welcome back to another session on hydraulics. In this session, we will talk about hydraulic press. If you have ever been to an industrial area, chances are that you would have come across a hydraulic press. The machines you might have seen are used for crushing cars, molding and casting metal objects and a whole host of other applications. Any kind of work that involves the application of high pressure over a finite and small area is the perfect job for the hydraulic press. The common use for hydraulic pressing is primarily used for forging, clinching, molding, blanking, punching, deep drawing and metal forming operations. What is the working principle of the hydraulic press? The hydraulic press works on the principle of Pascal's law. What is Pascal's law? Pascal's law states that the pressure exerted anywhere in the confined incompressible liquid is transmitted equally in all directions. How does the hydraulic press work? The hydraulic pump is driven by an electric motor, a pump that sucks fluid from the tank and pushes it into the line of hydraulic circuit through various hydraulic devices up to the hydraulic cylinder. The direction of the movement of the piston in the hydraulic cylinder is controlled via directional wall. The hydraulic cylinder at the end of the line represents resistance to flow. The pressure therefore increases until it is in a position to overcome the resistance until the piston in the cylinder moves so that the hydraulic circuit is protected from excess pressures and hence from overloading. The maximum pressure must be limited. This is achieved using a pressure relief wall. The flow still delivered by the pump flows by a pressure relief wall directly back to the tank. The pressure at this moment is maximum. The direction of the movement of the piston in the cylinder is controlled via directional wall when the cylinder returns to its starting position. Let us see how the hydraulic press works again. I hope you understood how the hydraulic press works. Now let's create a DIY hydraulic press. For this activity you will need candy sticks, glue gun or you can use any glue, one 5ml syringe, one 10ml syringe, an aquarium tube and a scissor.
I hope you loved this video. In the next session, we will discuss about hydraulic brakes. So stay tuned. Show some love by giving a like to the video, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon for the latest updates. See you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.